this is the video on my complaint is the video once I'm done with this video police can come and arrest my father and take him to the prison uh, I was at the father today and um, it was actually exactly according to what police director Janis Ogulin procrastinated with uh, Home for Elderly People director Mrs. Jeric. Jeric. Just uh, as they procrastinate, it's going to be. That's exactly what they uh, foretold me the case will be. Uh, the father will have to be arrested and taken from home for elderly people to some other location behind bars, literally in the jail. So what's the problem? Well, the problem starts here. Very strange video, I know. This is how it goes, evening after evening. You know, I, uh, I do have a cancer problems, serious cancer problems. And uh, my life was deleted, vanished completely into zero. My life was wiped out completely, entirely. I am fighting a battle, a war with depression for 52 years because of my father. What became, after 2010, war with the Google algorithm, something that British and Americans declared on me with Josip Broz Tito and with the Russians, have expanded into what, as a child, I would not even imagine we would see in this lifetime. Algorithm and uh, basically everything that people take for granted as a way of life destroyed. before I would even get in my hands. And whatever I would not get in my hands, it would be destroyed different, differently by my leaving behind, going to the store and finding telephones destroyed. Whatever, whatever I would do, that's basically how it is. And so uh, I did not plan on uh, making it up for the British royals or for American presidents with or for the German Reichstag or for parliament in Rome, Italian parliament for the Slovenian murderers in Ljubljana for the Slovenian assassins, for the Croatian Ustasha state, or Belgrade for that matter. Uh, I don't plan on wasting my life like this, being killed basically on uh, with stuff like this out of 52 years, but this shit is going to end tonight. Let's go. We're going to do the video. We're going to do one more. As you know, I am dreaming, hallucinating about completing the complaint, about the completion of complaint. And the more 
I am hallucinating about completion of complaint, the more Google algorithm artificial intelligence system sends my way videos which involve I gotta do, I have a whole list of people that I have to videos and so on that I have to put on the internet. Uh, but this is going to be done after I launch complaint. Uh, definitely I am drowning in problems concerning overwhelming amount of abuse, torture involving. I was thinking I would go and set aside basically identifying people, buildings, countries, and would rather concern myself with the uh, degree of crime that they have done to me. I have to do this. However, there is just too much because this shit went on for no less than 51 years. And so going like this to the home for elderly people and waste another evening like that is going to come with a price. My father destroyed a lot of evenings with the Slovenian police, with the Slovenian parliament, with the Slovenian courts, supreme courts, Slovenian politicians, uh, basically criminals that uh, I guess they were eager to buy more stuff that they didn't need or something like this. I am just trying to get by and I will not forget what uh, police investigators have done to me in respect to my life and I had nothing to look forward to. Actually, I had nothing really out of my life and how much it bothered them for me to absolutely own anything, have anything in this life. So I started deliberately with this coffee. I'm going to waste another evening, but I'm going to make sure that those that wasted this evening to me are going to get something else in return. You know, my plan is also not to spend doing the stuff I do. I never had a plan on doing the stuff like stuff I'm doing. I don't see myself in this thugs. These stacks are billionaires, whatever the fuck that means. They have factories, they do business, they look toward uh, every day, every, after, toward every tomorrow on their banking accounts. It's not about paying their bills. They run factories. They run countries, kingdoms. They have a big ship containers that travel the ocean. They have really no technical background, no fucking education, no fucking common sense. Their IQ in comparison to mine is to the end. Yet I am on the bottom. I am a land over for 52 years, no less, without knowing or even daring to think what normal way of life is, what normal is. My next video is going to be on a smartwatch. It's a really, really full smartwatch. 
like this. A poor little smartwatch that probably does have a, a camera. And uh, that camera is actually from the Sony, a two megapixel camera. This screen that you see, I, I haven't seen anything like this yet. It's a P8, V8 camera, Bluetooth camera, uh, watch, smartwatch, I want to say. Uh, it comes with a resolution of 240 by 240. 240 by 240 is not two megapixels. It actually comes exactly with the resolution I was told by Slovenian police is going to come with. But otherwise, it comes with a Sony camera and what should have two megapixel resolution. That's what my next video is going to be about. My next video is going to be about it's going to be about the teeth. This is basically what Nurse Yanko used to do with my teeth. You don't see her very often with her teeth, but you can see that her teeth look quite straight on her picture, where she is uh, laughing happily and showing the teeth. Mm, I have not seen any woman so violent as this here. But this was the woman that demanded from a nurse Yanko to have my teeth, you see, sort out exactly as I demonstrated you. This is how my teeth were in my mouth. My teeth in my mouth felt like, I felt like I'm going to be there is no, there's actually no explanation for that stuff. Uh, injections in jaws that makes your jaws, uh, teeth inside of the jaws uh, move basically like the way you want. That's how Yanko was doing. So it's not going to be about the smartwatch, about the resolution of the smartwatch. It was doing like this, you know, like this. And when I thought, felt inside this stuff, uh, all my teeth were screwed up. When they demonstrated the teeth to the people, they were sure that my teeth are going to look like this during the central intelligence hijackings from Miami when I was delivered here. Yeah, that's a cancer dot right here, got me. The worst cancer dot I have inside of the bowl, inside of the stomach, that's the worst one. That's why I don't like staying like this at night and doing this kind of crazy stuff. It's also nerve-wracking stuff. Um, how many nights I had destroyed like this? Probably more than 3,000 nights. 3,000 nights. Because of stuff. Because of the garbage like this. Yep. And um, miraculously, my teeth will come back. And they would set themselves somehow in a proper way. 
most of the, to, to everybody, they do, more or less. But in 2015, 2016, Angela Merkel ordered Slovenian police again to definitely cause me a permanent damage, and so they did on this side here. Mm, you can't see it, but as a result of this year, I have the whole teeth all straight nice, and they come to this year. I'm going to demonstrate you. Actually, I can demonstrate you what Janko did in the following video. I did talk to you about the camera watch because the glasses I had destroyed in Poland. Uh, if you remember when I had to replace the glasses because they did something to the lens that destroyed the film. Um, those glasses costed me, I think about 250 euros, something like this. It was 150 or 200, 250 euros because they were one of the first uh, with a thin glass um, I don't actually even know uh, is it bipolar maybe I don't know uh, it's from the near and it's for the far side I have to go through this stuff. I, I got uh, other stuff on my mind. I would love to concentrate on my life and basically on things that are just... that you cannot even be seen as an idiot, basically, I'm going to say. But my mind is all scattered all over the place. Like I said, thinking about normal, like that I would have a normal life is actually scares me. They told me it's going to be a psychiatrist that once they're going to throw me inside a psychiatric hospital, that uh, they would treat me nice and I will be scared of them. The thing is that I am scared actually of thought of, uh, you know, how would it be if I have the phone that works like a telephone? Or how would it be if I had a, this that works like this? Or how would it be like to have a smartwatch that works or anything for that matter that it's the way it is? You know, like you go to the store, you give the money, you pay and you get the new thing. I'm scared to actually think about stuff like this. I am actually really, really scared. What would it be like if you click the remote button on the car to lock the doors and it would lock the door? Because it doesn't. You have to do it once and twice and three times. And you better go and make sure the fuck is locking the door. It's not my car, it's from father. Even it gives you sound that it does, but I learned that actually you got to have a deep lock so that it locks. Where do I keep the finger? On the top, right? On the top, and I turn the light on. It's dark here. Where do I keep my finger? So light turned on, where do I keep my finger? On the bottom, right? 
So I'm going to go, I'm going to disconnect the light. Where do you see I think the thing? You're going to turn it off? Where do you see? Where do you see I keep the finger? It's this shit all over the house like this. It's everywhere like this. It's been like this since day one. It's uh, so much shit that uh, I'm afraid to think how much shit it is. And I'm afraid to think about how much they told me more I have to do because they did, they tortured me for 52 years. Till 2020. That makes 48 years. Everything in my life is like this. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the glasses. Also, you got the glasses. It was always like this. And when I got the glasses, the glasses were fine according to prescription. Then I was taken back to the same optic in Kulandia, in Kulandia here in the city of the Novo Mesto, shopping center, those glasses were done. And uh, bifocal, sorry. And what he did was, he took the glasses out, my, my lens, he took them out. And he had them replaced with uh, lens that had the same far vision and totally different dioptry on a short sighted vision. From short, you couldn't see anything. Well, the dioptry remained. Um, he did not stop there, however. He went ahead and he just completely destroyed lens so that you would have a lens like this and you could actually see through the corners like this air right through and whatever he couldn't do it he was squeezing with stuff and doing that kind of stuff not too much intellectual is it to do the stuff like this to people but this is what my life was This is going to be the next video. It's not about the camera is what I'm trying to say only. It's about every aspect of my life like this. They did stuff like this with eyes, therefore with the vision, with the teeth. Whatever was given to me, it was destroyed. Even whatever was given at birth, whatever was given by God was destroyed, absolutely destroyed, everything.
got an Android, it's like police investigator state it will be. Put something over that have damaged the screen badly and it became like sticky, like completely sticky. Got myself, uh, replaced the screen, as I fell on the floor because they cut me a, a pouch where I, which I purchased, very nice pouch, but it was plastic and they cut me with a knife like this so that it opened and it fell out and broke. And I replaced the screen and purchased a, a screen protector. And before I put the screen protector, somebody opened the screen protector, plastic separated one, and put the dust inside. So again, the police investigator was correct. Again, it would be dust that is now inside. You can I can take this screen protector off, but then again, I'm not going to have a screen protector uh, and dust. I don't think I'm going to clean one because it's on the side where the glue is, where it sticks to the screen. So it's basically everything is like this. You were able to see in Poland, they have gone ahead to destroy me even what is ultraviolet, uh, for the ultraviolet protection, for the glasses to get dark when you get out on the sun and have used that as a weapon to make me completely blind. Eventually working at the factory where required was a very close vision and couldn't do job because with those vinyl bags that I had to separate because I was blind practically. In Poland, I would sleep inside of the forest. In 2019, 2020, 2019, I found myself sleeping inside of the forest. It was a torture cell they got me in. And, uh, that was in Zgierz, in Poland. There was this uh, hostel, and uh, it was either, either he's going to end up in a in a physical confrontation and my you know facing a jail charges or something like this, or going out there. And uh, given that I was already in another torture cell prior to obtaining myself the next one it's where they would torture inside they would have locations where they would keep me inside and uh, that's where they would torture and stuff like this pretty much the same thing hostels and so on like inside of this house they d they would do whatever they wanted and if you would look for the place to stay they would just always make sure government will make sure that you go to the exactly the door they want you to go and uh, interesting because it was so called like a hell man two other torture cells already i was in spent in 2019 entire winter i think like after the new year um something like this by myself inside of the cold garage, basically without any heating, warming, anything. And so basically this is, that's how they get it, right? So I ended up actually sleeping inside of the forest. Not for too long, but for a few days I did. Uh, and reporting myself for work to the local factory, literally, at age 49 for 12 hour shifts uh, moving I don't know how much 18 20 tons of material 15 20 tons material 15 to 20 tons material manually um, yeah I would just go sleep and uh, in the tent and uh, then grab the tent and everything and throw that into uh, into the bushes something where it was so uh, abound for of plants 
jump on an old bicycle and ride towards company where I worked. And I was so happy that I had this job and so on. Um, um, you understand me where I'm coming from when I said, when I'm done with this video, the police can come and get my father. He shouldn't be doing this stuff like this. This video, I'm going to start what Slovenian police even believe is going to use against me that I was wasting time with the internet activities and stuff like this. This is just the stuff that is used to beat depression. It's not really a depression that I would feel like committing a suicide or doing myself a harm or causing somebody else's harm, but isn't it time basically to, to beat the, the thoughts, to kill the thoughts, basically? Uh, if somebody would be doing stuff like this to you, folks, any one of you, you would not uh, you would not end up for you well. Um, it would not end up for you well. That's what British loved about this stuff. I um, I found myself a little earlier watching this video here. And um, I saw these musicians here from Britain. And uh, I saw this guy here. These people were involved close to my since tr our, uh, childhood. Uh, this was the guy that was used to depict me. He kind of physically affiliated himself with me when I was younger. And um, he looks like completely in his dream world, completely far from it all. And really, when I was younger, I was during MK Ultra exactly like this. I would not give much emotion. I wouldn't give. I would just go about my stuff. Uh, and it reminds me of uh, life, basically, I missed. To degree when it comes to the British Royals, that I'm actually afraid. I actually fear what it will be like without what you see here in front of me is, or that coffee right there. Also, I was told that this is not the stuff I should watch by the British Royals. Told not to drink coffee. But yet, these are the people that force down poison on me and have paid Slovenian police to poison, to do this stuff. They financed genocide against me. They came out talking about Prince Harry and Prince William even with ideas that whatever I'm going to manage not to do to myself is basically what I will manage to take with me after this case once it's done, and so on. And so that kind of abusive stuff is this. I told you I grew up with the five generations of these British royals and every one of them learned how to butcher a human being in real time on me. And by watching me, they mentally have positioned themselves into view from what should be otherwise from my perspective on the world and have portrayed them on through their mouths to the world.
presenting themselves to the world as a victims, basically, during negotiations with the media and Congress and so on, and continue to torture not finance only genocide in Slovenia, but also on all other continents throughout the world. They were not alone in it. They are the biggest allies to the U.S. Congress and to the White House. Putin didn't have to worry about much Ljubljana, really. They all worried about one thing, the truth basically to come out. This video is really dedicated to my father. Um, but before I get to my father, I am gonna come here. I'm gonna the normal and stuff. So there is certain stuff that I have to do, and it's really difficult because instead of going to complain. And I know there is some nasty stuff I have to put more on the internet before even that internet completion. Because I just want the world to understand where my life went. You understand? It's very, very important for me to, for the world to acknowledge how my life was destroyed, annihilated. On what, basically? It said right there, Dobro Marmisi, you know. You see? To the good mother. They don't care about my mother. They don't care about shit. They all cared about my mother because they cared about their own ass. See, this is the distance between me and uh, Croatian gangster is practically like a dot, the same place that the British royals financed Americans threw one out from the US because he did, uh, he just, um, uh, an individual who worked for Vladimir Putin, straight for Vladimir Putin, an individual who worked for the Croatian government and for the Vladimir Putin. He worked for the Serbs and with the Croats. Uh, you're going to say that's not possible. It is possible. When the money comes in between, it's possible. Anything is possible. All this stuff is possible. He, however, worked for Vladimir Putin, literally using Slovenian police. But he was not the only one who used the Slovenian police. It was a Croatian state that uh, worked together with Slovenian police to get me murdered, to get me killed. Yeah, you're going to say that's how the hell that will, all that stuff will be possible. It's, it's a factual, you know. It's, it's a factual stuff. It's a totally factual stuff. This guy, once I immigrated, hey, I'm, I didn't get to there yet, so I am not going to go and, and uh, get myself into it. Uh, this is basically, this is the guy. He asks the lady if she if she smokes, you know, and um, um, 
whoever said, wh whomever he saw that he smoked and he just sent him home, he poses as a doctor, claims he's a doctor, he's a physician, has a supernatural abilities to kill people and so on. And he's asking this lady, who by the way is a Serb, she was involved in NK Ultra, but she liked me a lot. And I liked her a lot. Uh, I like this lady a lot. This goes way, way, way back in time. Uh, hey, you have to see when the hell this talk was even video recorded. Maybe 98. I don't know. Maybe in 2000. As a matter of fact, probably after 2000 when Croatia got peace deal. And he asked her if she smokes. He's acting, you know, behaving like outlandishly insane. He doesn't wear shoes or anything like this. And uh, the lady tells him, I do smoke. And uh, he's about to send her home. And he asks her if she also smokes a dick, uh, if she does a blowjob. And she does, she says, yes, I do. And he says, then you can stay. Well, this is just the excerpt describe what Vladimir Putin wanted to, for the world to see me as. Now, he obviously looked like a Nazi. And, uh... No. Davidevo, pushes, kurac, kas počela? Zasudala. Dobro, <laughs> To je bilo kog Mahatme Gandhi. To mislio je Rufi, samo ti bijaš, daj mi to vrati. Dole snimaj. Ja njevo je kažem, Isusa, kaj je to bude u oči. Biću predsjednik Republike Hrvatske. Da, 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 da. Tata je to te, tata te je to, tata te. This is very, very important because... Because of this stuff here. This is a very, very important stuff because of this stuff here. Um, Novo Mesto Police Director. And I'm going to want you to concentrate yourself now on these two individuals here. Novo Mesto Police Director, Janes Ogolin. Slovenian psychiatry, Slovenian Supreme Court, Slovenian Parliament dreamed about getting me killed through psychiatry, just exactly as I explained, and inflicted enormous amount of damage to me. Uh, using exactly the case of this individual here that you see, he was using exactly his case to portray me as much as possible to the public to get the publicity against me on his side and get me killed. Uh, you're going to say, how would that be possible? Well, um, this girl here who was involved, everybody in his videos was involved in this crime. This girl here represented a state, Croatian state. She is a journalist with a degree and everything. And uh, in uh, at order, at the request of Slovenian state, which fulfilled absolutely everything from Vladimir Putin. Uh, they started with the Slovenian police, with the British royals, with 
with the people involved in this prepared crime against me in which this man here obviously crazy and violent guy uh, was abusing this man here that you see this this guy here this small guy that you see here and um, This guy, by the way, if you remember my feet, how my feet were, um, um, if you remember how my feet were full of wounds, my foot, how he was, he was completely eaten, um, how it was completely eaten. Uh, from the chemicals they they put me whatever they put me inside of the socks either softeners or um, when I started to exercise went out for a walk uh, I thought that I'm gonna lose that I'm gonna end up losing my feet skin was just have you seen my my video about about my feet about my my foot um, this is the food from this man whom he destroyed he destroyed this guy but he was not the only one who destroyed him right? this is uh, the story this this guy that you see right there this guy was involved in my case since 1995 this this man is this guy here that you see this little guy here now look at what his food looks like if you had a food like this if you had a food like this you would go completely insane you would you would look at his food he lost fingers because of the cold uh, called like this because the Croatian state decided that he's going to be wasted. The people from the village where he is at decided we'll give him like a little place, a little house where he would stay. Um, but it was this guy that would deliver him alcohol. They would make him drunk and he would not go about life at all. He was this man here that you see here this guy this individual who in 2000 when the the war in croatia ended uh he would not allow this man that you see right this small guy he would not allow him to get the medical assistance from the people in zagreb from the physicians and was using literally my case to uh, intercept the small guy that you see right there uh, on his way to Zagreb to visit the physician the Croatian state wanted to, to prove that I am evil so they went ahead and they assisted him with a car it is beforehand before this small guy managed to arrived to the Zagreb to the physician with whom he made an appointment it will help him stay physician so covered by the state uh, the Croatian Croatian Ustasha state delivered this guy to the physician and made it with me in front of me and made an arrangement he will not help him out eventually that he will refer to him as this guy call himself a doctor it will, he will be the one who will rescue him yes so this guy wanted to have him as a commercial to demonstrate to the world how he is helping this man here and for that matter this guy had to be mistreated tortured he was beaten up and so that you would watch then what he posted on on the internet the videos about how he's saving him 
Видишь, у него и более. The man, the man is uh, would be better off probably if you cut the leg away. Вот если с него одной ноги ломать. Look what he that looks like. Зумеш мы. Это смерди у пичку мать. And this is basically how he who I mean this is this is just completely insane guy. I mean the way he treats the people was exactly what Vladimir Putin demanded from him to be as the whole thing. He just a pure, pure perversion in the people's faces, a uh, total, total derision for human dignity, uh, and that's how he wanted to present the new Croatian state. His name is Pavlovich, Ante Pavlovich. And Vladimir Putin needed him because Vladimir Putin, in order to realize the war in Ukraine, needed me and people like this to portray to the world the ultimate evil. Yeah, so you have Ante Pavlovich. Ante Pavlovich was a famous Croatian Ustasha. Croatia was like a Finland. Actually, it was much worse because Croatia was in the inside of the kingdom SHS, and you had Serbs killing Croats everywhere. Croats were like the most um, well, basically, they wanted to exterminate Croats, Croatian people, as fast as possible, so they would they would enlarge the Serbia into Greater Serbia. And so then you have this Croatian movement meeting with the other Hitler, literally uh, taking the side of the Hitler, of the Nazis, the same like Finland, the same like Baltic states, the same like Baltic states did against the Russia and so on, because of uh, atrocities Joseph Stalin committed, because of the atrocities Serbs committed. Before Josip Brostito, there were bombs that were detonated inside of the Croatian Sabor. In, uh, in Zagreb and so on. It was like a war field, basically Zagreb even. The kingdom of the SHS was uh, under, I mean, it was it really was already occupation of other republics. So for me to say, Croats were the first target of the Serbs. Serbs wanted to exterminate Croats. This is undeniable. However, um, Ante Pavlovich committed war crimes, crimes against humanity, by annihilating Roma people, Jews, minorities which had nothing to do with what I suggested a little earlier during the Nazi occupation of Yugoslavia, during the Italian-German occupation, Hungarian, Hungarians also attacked at the same time, Romanians and so on. They just divided Bulgarians uh, from all the directions. They attacked Yugoslavia and they just uh, sliced one into pieces and uh, whoever retained whatever. Uh, except for Croatian state, Croatian state was immune. Uh, Serbia also was within its borders. The rest, uh, however, they divided into Serbia with the Bosnia was one state into their own uh, Slovenia, Macedonia, and so on. They just uh, took that, divided basically on Italy, Austria, Bulgaria, etc., uh, etc. Et um, so uh, his name is Ante Pavelic. He was the leader of this Ustasha state during the World War II. And the name of this individual is Pav Ante, the same first name, Ante, and it's Pav Pavlovich, Ante Pavlovich. You know, Ante Pavlovich and Pavlovich is almost the same thing. It sounds the same thing. Ante Pavlovich and Ante Pavlovich, basically. You understand? And so Vladimir Putin needed him because this guy was bald, uh, it it looked a little bit worse than a skinhead. This was uh, he wanted to look like a Nazi and was into Bleiburg, 
where uh, there were uh, Croats and Slovenes, Croats mostly they were killed uh, after the World War II. Uh, and uh, Ustashas, basically, and the White Guards, whom uh, allies killed, British, and Josip Broz Tito. So, uh, repatriated from Bleiburg to Yugoslavia. That's what British did. So, where once they were repatriated from uh, from Austria to Yugoslavia, it was basically like you would send them into the slaughterhouse. None of them survive. Uh, they filled the, with their corpses the mains, pit holes in, in Slovenia and in Croatia, mainly in Slovenia. Um, I knew this guy and his mother before the war broke out. Uh, and then once the war broke out, I did found myself with him literally uh, delivered to where he served. He did not serve in the military, but he was like a volunteer. And uh, he would go really where they uh, rescued uh, the, now I'm talking about the Balkan Wars in 1990 that uh, Serbia wanted to cleanse everybody. They wanted to kill and Croats and Bosnian people and Slovenian people and Macedonian people. So basically the history repeats here. Albanian people, Kosovo people. Uh, they wanted to cleanse everybody and make the big Serbia. Yeah, that was in 1990. And so I really, really found myself uh, in Slavonia, where he served the military service, uh, and uh, again tortured like an animal. Next to this individual, he took initiative uh, to keep me around him, and for the, it's like, it was like, Truly, like he, next to the lunatic, basically, that had his, uh, uh, he wanted the authority and uh, a madman, almost, it looked like, you know, madman, he was madman, because um, when he was in a Croatian military, this guy, uh, assisting the wounded Cro Croatian soldiers, um, you know, Srebrenica, that kind of stuff, killings the extermination that Serbs committed. Uh, he was in Slavonia, where the Serbs wanted to annihilate Vukovar and so on. So uh, in the background of a wall, they would have a Croatian uh, medical team where they would... Uh, this is very, very important stuff I have to give you because it relates straight to Jana Zogulin. It's straight, directly to the home for elderly people. It relates straight to United States of America, in fact, to the White House. It relates straight to the US Congress. Now I'm talking about the YouTube, I'm talking about the algorithms, I'm talking about the artificial intelligence used by the Google founders, by the Central Intelligence Agency in the United States of America to them to depict me videos of participants involved in MKUltra exactly according to the timing you would, I would just go through the internet ISP, internet service address, and what they would do is they would deliver me what they deem are videos of people that were involved in it that would definitely make impact according to their global appetite, you know, the political agenda they promote, basically. Yeah, so they would deliver you certain videos of the certain ethnicities, people, uh, all kinds of stuff that committed something horrendous and, you know, based on MKUltra scenarios, torture they conducted, um, you would be then, you know, picking the sides, you know. I said to myself a little earlier today, uh, 
I saw a, a video of uh, it's a little bit north of uh, <coughs> Rio de Janeiro. I think it's like a 90 miles or something, or 90 kilometers or whatever, north of Rio de Janeiro. And uh, it's entirely black community. And I was there with this guy from Los Angeles, black guy, whom Central Intelligence Agency, before they uh, dispatched him on a route, uh, they had him watch all the videos about my whereabouts in that exact town, you know. Uh, how they tortured me, you know, the streets that I had seen. So therefore, which areas, what part of the towns that he had to, once he delivered me there, and makes the video for the people that live up there north of Rio de Janeiro, but this black community it is. Uh, so he can make impression on me, certain impression on me, and uh, wake racist tendencies or I should say vengeance. This is no racism. Racism was somebody else who did. Because black people did a lot of racism for this, for the money, for this. They killed for this. And I just said to myself that inside of the Brazil, where I was, or whether I was in China, or whether I was in Canada, or I was in Africa, or I was whatever the torture took place, there was always, always, there was never such thing as me, I, and people, the Brazilian people, or there was never such a thing like if I was in Africa, that it would be I and African people, or it would be I and I don't know, in Japan, Japanese people, or in Australia, uh, Australian people, or whatever. It never was such a thing. It did not exist. It was always I. Actually, I did not even fucking exist. It was always Milan Kuchan in Brazil, or it was Milan Kuchan in Japan, or in China, or in South Africa, or in North Pole, or in Norway or Germany or Spain or South America or whatever. What the fuck I mean is the police officers, investigators were always present from Slovenia. And they administered, they watched, they demanded the torture to be implemented in a certain way. And they conditioned, because I saw the video from Brazilian people. And I said to myself, I saw this girl from Amazona, and I said to myself, these are Indian people. And I said to myself, um, and I kind of realized that these people, what the fuck, these people, um, what could these people do at the time, really? I was not in the picture, practically nothing. I was on the picture. I was there. And they portray everything it's for me and because of me. But really, uh, under this kind of circumstances, that the girl would want to help, the black guy also wanted to help. They would also take me, make me disappear just for a second to some place and make photos of me and stuff, pull the silicone mask off my face, you understand? But they couldn't do anything more than that is what I'm trying to say to you. It was always, it was always a police that on the side they observe and administer. It's always. Finally, walk on the street, you did not know who the fuck you were walking next to. It was times when I would go with MK Ultra step members into, across the Rio de Janeiro, I should say, certain parts of Brazil. I clearly recall this. And uh, the people that were with me did not know, actually the people who delivered me there did not know that it was, they, they would pass sometimes literally Slovenian police wearing a silicon masks. And then they would converse about this stuff. They would join and they would meet and they would talk about this stuff. And they would make this clear. 
they were doing the stuff like this so that this MK Ultra Start members would understand whoever would use this service to let's visit certain location, get a government privilege services, privileged services to video record certain things of interest so that he could earn them on YouTube or whatever. They're, they're not alone practically anywhere. They would even walk what appeared with me by myself. So the people were completely paranoid involving this stuff, scared about how to view this thing. It was a terror, it was an absolute surveillance, and it was for nothing, basically, for very little that you invested into, that you managed at the top of the... Uh, YouTube is... Uh, revenues and this is basically how they run this crime and it was other stuff okay you got discounted parcel or real estate or job uh, or wherever you got all right cars whatever business business opportunities mega business opportunities or even markets where you could sell for more and so on etc that was 50 50 basically hand in hand with technology investments return and for those that accepted then markets where they managed to advertise their products let's say aliexpress china and so on and so forth right so there was no such thing as even if i was in brazil between me and brazil or in italy if i was between me and italy or in germany between me and germany or in britain between so on. It was always a Slovenian police, and Slovenian police did enforce whatever was an agreement between Slovenian police, Vladimir Putin, Russia, I should say, Germany, United States of America, West, I should say, and so on and so forth. You get it? It was all coordinated. It was all coordinated. For me, this is very important to start here. Uh, this um, rescue that he portrayed here. I mean, this, no, no, this no, is no, fucking no, bestial no. stuff. I mean, totally. So that he is rescuing him and so on and, and so forth. This kind of stuff. But, as I said, this is a story that goes way back in time. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a story, unfortunately, that... Um... Wait a minute. Treba školu. Zato ja ne volim debele kad smo kožu treba gulti da svaka vena arterija ostane neoštećena. To je debele, vidiš on na primjer. Onda su morali ima neka... He is saying that uh, he practiced what you see here on the net. Da li vidimo malo? To mi... A ne... Izvršavaju... The thing about he did practice this on the dead people. Uh, he was driving insane absolutely insane uh what appeared to me as uh croatian rescue people ambulance medical workers that took care uh wounded he would get uh, what he requested was a special room where they would do abduction. i would say in uh in english in slovenian language uh that's basically to you know to research the cause of death and stuff like this and what he would do is he sliced people in pieces basically he was playing with that kind of stuff at least that's what he suggested insisted he would do with his uh you know that that's what he needs you know uh to do his stuff and so on um when i was delivered with him to his locations obviously that this was the word about 
complete total lunatic that he will be doing the stuff like this um, on people literally whether he was doing the stuff like this on people these are what his creation colleagues know about that stuff more that were his friends and they also were involved in torture is uh, a video here that um, he had me by the way and all of these videos that delivered me to him and um, they had me here at this place here too and uh, this is where it all started okay. this is on an island this in croatia uh, and this is this is basically how far his cooperation collaboration with the Slovenian police goes. The neighbor Igor Kotar, Igor Kotar, the neighbor one house away from me, was the one who was delivering me to Croatia with the Slovenian police. He was the main curator. This is a doctor physician. Igor Kotar was the one who delivered me to this guy. If they did not recognize me in Croatia, there was a bulky stock fat ass guy on this island this that would deliver me that he knew he was everywhere in croatia whatever the fuck i was he knew this guy personally and he collaborated with him completely the two were com in a complete in a total agreement igor kotar worked however for the moscow for the Moscovici, for the belgrade together with the Berger Miroslav and with others that were implicated in this crime against me. So we have a clearly link right here that you watch right there between the Nova Mesto police, between the Slovenian police and Dr. Ante Pavlovic, the so-called Dr. Ante Pavlovic. Call it whatever you want to call it. Um, Dr. Pavlovic so-called doctor insists that he doesn't have i think he's got a grammar school or something like that but he insisted that it is with the croatian government officials insisted to me that in fact he receives the money from italy that is italian government that is paying one money that they finance his work it says a work of a lunacy. They had some Italian people, possibly even politicians, gesturing that they watched him and that he looked good to them and they pay him money and stuff like this about the money. Uh, the thing is that Italian government, the German government, totally worked with the Putin. This was all one big color faster fuck. And the Croatian state only had on their mind one thing. I'm going to call it Croatian Ustasha state. You're going to see why I have the reason to call Croatia Ustasha state. In my case, it's a Ustasha. In my case, it's somebody who wanted to cut my throat at whatever it took. Croats tried to get me killed, maybe more, more desperately than Serbs. This individual to whom Dr. Igor Kotar would deliver me, and on later occasion, it would be the neighbor Andrei Ur who delivered me to him. Those are the two neighbors, Andrei Ur and Igor Kort. Oh. So we get here now. Back here. I doubt that it was Italian state that financed him. After he became apparently enemy with Croatian politicians, you know, that's at least what Croatian politicians 
distance themselves from him. This is nice. This is our house. I hope you believe. This is a uh, Berger Miroslav where it is. And now we're gonna from this our house here. We're gonna head until. to this little street here. And then we have uh, two houses of which this one here belongs to the Dr. Igor Kotar who would transport me to him. And this one here, he belongs to the Andre Ul. The two are very good friends. That's like a mechanic. Uh, I found it interesting that whenever I was delivered to this location here, to this individual, and it was really, really interesting to me. He in Croatia, right on the other side of the Goryanci, basically. He, uh, yeah, he's got a, he's got an entrance here. It's a very, very special, very, very special place. Enter to learn how, it says here, the entrance. He, uh, there is a Croatian flag, flag uh, Croatian, everything so Croatian. Um, it was always Andrei Ul that would give this guy 50 or 100 euros. Usually 100 euros, it would be the tip for the torture on behalf of Slovenian police. And it would be Slovenian police, in fact. It would be always Slovenian police officer investigators that would be present, that would, if he was not present, if it would be with the Andre Ul that I would be delivered here. And I, then it would be with the Croatian police and with them over there. Um, once they came to pick me up or they joined the torture, bestiality at this village, uh, they would make sure, they would ask Andre Ul if he give him the money and so on and so forth, if he give him those 100 euros. So closer than to the Italy, it is a Slovenian police that give this individual money. They finance basically the torture. But the director of the Novo Mesto police station, Janis Ogolin, had a good reason for that matter. Now we go to this lady here that you see, where I acknowledge her as a Croatian state right there that you see. You see that lady? This is the lady that prepared domestic abuse case against this so-called Dr. Pavlovich. Dr. Pavlovich, who had a very, very strange connection to the top Croatian government officials, like for instance, I learned from his website, he's got a website, he's got a YouTube website. He's got a YouTube website. It was really interesting. Uh, to see to again see because I was present at the time maybe I was not present at the time because he stated that he had seen these planes already before uh, however I was present on another opportunity
um, he told me that the two of us have to wait. And we had to wait, and we waited, and we waited, and waited, and waited. We waited four fucking hours, five hours that day. You know what we waiting on? He was all insane. He was all completely crazy. Uh, he had the time, I think, like 12 o'clock. Uh, 12 or 1 o'clock, something like this. Uh, he does have a... Uh, I did not even pay attention to this stuff. I see here, Dr. Ante Pavlovic, Boeing Croatia Airlines. And it says here, Dr. Ante Pavlovic, Airbus 380. Uh, seems like he got like a good knowledge of this airplanes that this is like something that he would be interested in um, but there is something else behind this stuff um, the reason why he demonstrated those two airplanes is because he's got a video he posted. I saw it. Where he demonstrates a Russian plane coming to Zagreb. Uh, it's a Russian plane that's coming to Zagreb. And he was uh, knowing about the stuff that was done to me he hyped further into uh, what he believes is going to be a paranoia against Russians in front of his house, basically pointing me out that is a Russian-made plane uh, land going to Zagreb, landing in Zagreb, and et cetera, et cetera, that kind of stuff. So uh, the video, uh, which I am looking right now to point out what the stuff I am... He told me, he alone told me, he was kind enough, he was kind, he was so gentle enough to tell me more about that he had few of those videos, that he made more videos about this so that it would not be known about that stuff. Uh, when he's standing in front of the house and uh, pointing at the At the Russian made plane that landed in uh, in Zagreb. You know, it's not only Russians that have Russian made planes, it's also others that have uh, Polacks have uh, Russian Russian plane on their way to Katyn, let's say, that was smashed down, etc. etc. No? But he uh, he had a way, this man had a, such a, such a way to convince uh, that he is uh, for the Croatia. He, he had a, such a, such a way to uh, psychologically uh, convince a drugged up person that he is 100% supporting Croatia. And, you know, he would give you, give me a feeling that I'm in a good hands, although we did have a physical confrontation literally during the MKL sessions, because he became, he totally disregarded my life, uh, tortured, started to, got engaged in a torture, uh, and demanded for me to accept him in exactly the same way as to what he had done to this small guy that you see right there. Basically, for me to submit myself at his mercy, demanded for me to give him the right to basically approve, like him being my master, like he's got a right to, uh, to enjoy himself, to have fun, and even to torture during my chaotic trial. For me to be so, for me to be completely exact about to express myself. So I'm not going to find this video. 
there is a hawk also, what appears to be a hawk that is circling uh, on the sky. Uh, and so uh, he did video recorded so many videos of these planes, according to him. Uh, obviously, many of them are not nowhere on the internet. He's got a whole private collection of the planes he video recorded and not therefore necessary. I was that day uh, with him at that place, even that the hawk, uh, the day when we, when he had me there with this Russian plane was present. Okay, so he got, he got a, such a way to convince people uh, that he is a uh, 100% that he's for the Croatia, that he's uh, uh, demanded from people to see him as a Croatian patriot. Uh, well, on the side, this individual, on the side of it all, he was collecting, he was coming here in the house to literally meet Vladimir Putin, Medvedev and other politicians here in the Novo Mesto. This was a visitor. Uh, this became a visitor um, of our house here in the city of the Novo Mesto. He, be he eventually, he became a visitor here in our house in the city of the Novo Mesto during the visits which Russians paid. Uh, apparently that he is completely of the Croatian origins, that everything is of Croatian origins, but in the family, I understand he does have also something Serbian. There was a trace of something Serbian that I don't know that I would have to get from the Croatian police uh, for me to point out. The point is that he deemed, based on my case against me, based on what, you know, when I said that he had a, such a profound, such a fine way to infiltrate the mind of one, um, Dr. Igor Kotter referred to one as very, very intelligent, very, very capable and very, very intelligent. But Dr. Igor Kotter changed his opinion from at the beginning of it with all, that he appeared to be very intelligent and so on. I think he was a very strong supporter of him. But uh, synchronized at the same time to Dr. Igor Kotter, his opinion, how this guy was so intelligent. Donji Dragonožec, služeć iz polove, zovu policiju stalno Isusa Krista, inkarnacija Isusa Krista. Razbija utrne. Da ga osramotim. To objavio na slu. Da ga zavole. To se vjeli. Leova umića za njegovu mađu. Nešto. Da nisam elegan. Proga nekako. To mu je još. Da bio je kada ga zavole. Da ti ćeš pratiti probleme. A to sam ja htio atrakciju da to bude. You can see how the old guy now already is shivering over there. He wanted to be a president of Croatia. 
basically, um, you know, I just want to demonstrate you something else here. There's another tape here about That's a very interesting, very good tape, actually. I found it a very, very good tape. Um, he, uh, upon the end of the war in Croatia, you're going to see him with what you already have seen. You have just partially seen that lady whom he asks if uh, she basically is willing to suck his dick. Simple as that. That's a, a long line of the people that uh, is waiting for the miraculous doctor to cure them. Uh, he had uh, people that would come blind, half blind, and would then uh, make them see, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, and would collect glasses from them and so on. Yeah, well, it, it was something else uh, that... Uh, this long line of the people, you see this long line of the people, and the way he treats people, he treats people like a shit. He's throwing people, long line of the people, and he tells a lot of people. There's another video. Um, just walking from one person to the other, and he is really mistreating people, abusing people that are his believers. You know, he's got some kind of a cultus, occult, something. Uh, people seeing themselves in him, in his personality, like some kind of a strong leader uh, and a doctor, a physician, a miracle maker that will cure you just by, you know, just by saying to you, basically, take the glasses off, I tell you, uh, not exactly, but then again, in the name of Jesus, now you're cured, you see, you can go home, you're fine. Um, something like a copy-paste from these miracle doctors that you see in the U.S. also that are performing miracles and so on, and that kind of stuff, except that this one is really into a violence. He really, really loves to humiliate people and uh, also get physical with the people, violence. Now, not anymore because he's an older person. But when back in his day, when he was younger, uh, he really was thrilled with by causing people injuries, harm people, and that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but you know how, where, how he gets, how he got under my skin, this guy. Do you know what kind of uh, issues the Slovenian police? Because he's not doing this stuff by himself. He talks about how he was trained by, there was some guy who gave him a training and so on, that, that he trained him and made him what he is and so on. No. He has, a, he has a long line of Croatian officials, police, supporting him. He has a connection straight into the Zagreb police department. And another thing is in Ljubljana, inside of the Ljubljana, he has a team of psychiatrists. The police officers that you see right there meeting him were involved in the case. I know them. I know even the police officers that worked with this guy. I know the police officer who took this guy into the job. I know his superior and so on. I know the whole history. All I have to do is see this portion of the video and I can go and I can give the complete account about the police. But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually about Jan Zogulin, Novo Mesto Police Director, about the Slovenian police and about the Slovenian psychiatry. This is about home for elderly people. This is about what Slovenian police prepared all along together with the British royals. Or I should say what the British royals paid in respect to my visitations to the home for elderly people. This is what this shit is about. That's why such a long prelude, because they were they linked me to this guy. He has a quality to, to, to infiltrate to the, to the mind of the person uh, through, Either. 
Znači, pitamo ko misli da ću ja biti predsjednik Republike Hrvatske, ne digne ruku. Niko. Šta ti misliš, Nikta, Nikša, je li vjeruje admiral? Sve. When the war was ended in Croatia, when it was the end of the war in Croatia, you know how he got under my skin. And I know that it was a Slovenian psychiatrist, police, who taught him how to do this stuff. He was not just like that, yeah? He had doctors, physicians giving him a support, all kinds of stuff for his lunacy, for what appears as just a crazy lunatic. He's not a crazy lunatic. Um, he claimed me that he's doing this to Croatian people because it's Croatian people that did not appreciate what I have done for them during the war. Tokom Domovinsko Garata. And by what he stated to me, that he is retaliating to the people like this for mistreating me, I started to see myself in him. You understand that? Even that he was involved in torture and he supported the torture and so on and so forth. It became evident that he was one of the people who, with the Slovenian police, incited to torture Croatian population also, uh, with the Croatian police, with the, with the Croatian politicians. Yeah. So he finds his way, he's in and out to gain the sympathy for even mistreatment of the people like this in somebody in like myself. That's how Slovenian psychiatrists, Serbian psychiatrists, that's how Vladimir Putin approximated this guy, at least make him whatever, whichever way acceptable in my eyes. This gangster, I know he is, I have, actually I do have a proofs about him being uh, you would say that's impossible. You would have a proofs about this guy that he works for Vladimir Putin. No, Vladimir. When I say Vladimir Putin, that is Slovenian police. No, I do do have proofs actually. Uh, this guy stalked me. Uh, actually, a Russian government Duma uh, Medvedev Lavrov. Putin had this guy, they financed his departure to United States of America, to the predominantly black city, Atlanta. I was in Miami, in Florida, but he would not go to Miami, Florida. He would not go to Miami Beach. He had chosen to infiltrate society which was predominantly black society in Atlanta. And he started, they, they during MK Ultra hijack and sent the intelligence agency would deliver me to this guy over there to Atlanta, to Georgia, to observe uh, and demanded from me a support for him, a public support for him in front of the black people. Then he would have those days of Barack Obama and so on. Uh, depicting themselves to American public involved in MK Ultra as a heroes, as like, look at this guy from Slovenia. Do you see who his patron is? Do you see with whom he associates with? Even that I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. I said there was all physical confrontations between this guy and myself. Yeah, but I, you know, I was drugged up and this guy was not drugged up. If this guy was not drugged up, if this guy was not drugged up, it would be like he said to me when I asked him one time walking toward his village from Zagreb. I asked him, and so what would it be if I would go and I would find you? that you are just on the other side of Gorianzi, if I would come and find you. Uh, would you help me? He said, no. He said, I would not help you. I would kill you. So you can understand what basically the relationship was between us. Yeah? So from Atlanta, from Atlanta, where he came to United States of America to destroy me, to annihilate me.
and where he was thrown into the psychiatric institution for his uh, crazy stuff he did in the US, he would go and start to mistreat people. Uh, um, become my good friend, do the racism, all kinds of stuff he would do over there. Uh, I, I, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't know where this guy, who this guy is until a few days ago when I would go to, to the Google and it would be Google that would put him on a side like this, you know? That's how the US government does. Hey, it says like, how about, let's see if he's gonna recognize the video of this person. This one was involved in it. This guy was involved in it. I haven't, I don't know about the donkeys, but I have to see who posted that stuff online. This guy was involved in it. This guys from Serbia, these gangsters from Serbia were involved in it. They're good friends of the Shesher. Uh, excuse me, not of the Shesher, but of the Dodik, of the Bosnian Serb Dodik. It could be even the son from Dodik. This is a son of one politician, by the way, this gangster here, did you see? A young man? Everyone here in this fucking page was involved in it. The lady with this Bengal cat was involved in it. I should say the couple. Um, if she didn't separate, I, I don't think she did. Uh, it was something I have to think, I have to go over that stuff. Um, yeah, you understand? And so this is how this guy popped up when I say my friend is a uh, hell from the fucking nightmare. He is not the only one who would kill. When he said to me on my way to his village, after like 20 years, that he's out there to help me out, that he's gonna help me out and I don't know what, that, and so on, that I have to find him. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna find him? Where you're gonna do what? What are you gonna do? I mean, when when they were just looking for any kind of opportunity, if I would appro approximate to his house, he probably would get me killed. God knows what would happen. Um, from United States of America, where he where he was thrown into the psychiatric institution, hospital. I understand he spent eight years inside of the uh, uh, what do they say jail prisons or maybe even psychiatric institutions. That's what, I don't know what they said. Um, you know this the psychiatric institution in this case is uh, like a, uh, or jail. This is like the two people different tales. One goes and is incarcerated and serves the punishment penalty, and the other one is doing something completely else, something different. But the both have the record that the both were inside the prison. This is plenty full of this stuff. Uh, those involved in this case, upon committing a crime, would not even serve sentences would not even lose their licenses or whatever on the spot as they should, but had the ability to serve certain penalties, certain whatever they committed based on crime they committed after so many and so many and so many years after I came up with a number of the proofs. So they could prove if I would commit, if I would make a claim that their medical record, if they suffered broken leg in, I don't know, 2000, and they claim they on a YouTube, they broke one in 2022, or it was like cancer-wise, or it was whatever-wise. It would be impossible to actually refute. Somewhat impossible. In my case, not, because I have proofs, because I identify people and I can tell who the people are, etc., etc. 
but this is how the governments played with this stuff yeah i have a whole list of that kind of stuff uh it's all about the time i don't want to drink coffee anymore i dare to be alive i dare to live i dare to go and do my stuff you understand i demand money i demand my life i demand the job and i demand I will enforce the police do their job. I will enforce people at the United Nations, people at Strasbourg and so on. No such thing. Return the sender. Address unknown. As Elvis Presley said. I dare to go about stuff. Anyways. From United States of America, this criminal stalked me according if you're gonna say that it's not, that this is just not the case, that it, it can't be that that coincidence or whatever, because Atlanta is not close to Miami, let's say. Yeah, sure it's not. But I know for fact, because the dates also fit, that he integrated as a second location to the Switzerland, because it was Vladimir Putin who advised him in this house in front of me with the Vladimir Putin they made an arrangement that he will head that he will go to the Switzerland where again he's going to do the show a Nazi show that he's going to pose over there intimidate people and he did exactly as the case was in the United States of America however in 2010 as you know I chose the route to Austria and from Austria which is close to Switzerland to Germany and from Germany to Belgium and back to Austria and then not to the Switzerland like he did in 2009 2010 but instead to the Sweden and to the Norway so it totally 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 fucked him he was mad he was insane he lost his mind because he could not serve his Vladimir Putin. Again, he ended up inside of the psychiatric hospital. So don't fucking tell me that this guy does not work for the Vladimir Putin, for the KGB, or that he does not work for their Serbia. Because I tell you today that this guy works for the Serbia. Sometime, according to him, he was patriotic, he was Cro Croatian and this and that. But I think, in my opinion, it never was any time like this. There is a flag, there is everything over there in front of his house. But none of it really is dedicated to Croatian state. And Croatian Ustasha state, which was behind this stuff and did allow this stuff to go on at his place, alone is not innocent in this case. It goes hand in hand with one another with the Slovenian police. The lady that you see right there that is talking, the so-called journalist, prepared with a Croatian state, a domestic case. This was the latest thing, based on which either was Ante Pavlovic alone, or was it Croatian officials who stated me? the time is coming when he would have to go to the home for elderly people that they're going to remove him that he's going to go to zagreb that he's old and that he will be taken care of in some facility whatever the case might be that he already made an arrangements if he did not make an arrangements it's probably croatian state that is going to make one disappear or something in that sense yeah but they made sure that his domestic crime that his domestic case would closely match to the one Slovenian state exercised against me. This individual had what he claimed me horses poisoned and animals poisoned, etc. etc. The thing is, he had something to do with it, and it was found by the journalists and so on that. One was at his daughter's place, etc., etc., that kind of stuff. And again, Slovenian police was involved in this stuff because they obtained 
from MK, during MK Ultra statements for me that he should just do this and so on. They video record me when I suggested him drop that, that he should just go and do when hijacked to his location and so on. So you can see that his criminal case that Croatian Ustasha state prepared with along with the Slovenian, uh, Slovenian state closely is matching somewhat the profile of myself that try to match me with him uh, character and so on and uh, oh, basically so crazy outlandish stuff that is that is that is just uh, completely completely in line with the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia with the violence of the Slovenian psychiatrists in agreement with the Serbs with the Serbian Chetniks Russians and uh, of course London uh, I would love not to think United States of America but this is exactly what these people finance this is what exactly <laughs> this is exactly what the Germans British Italians Americans have financed yeah so that you understand the visits to my father what kind of nature the visits to my father have had what exactly was in it because they have this case now against uh he was incarcerated he was thrown in a in a prison and that kind of stuff and this individual here Jana Zogolin stated me he got an idea what to do with me exactly from his case now the thing is that Croatian state had me all along when they video recorded uh, how they're going to present him as a domestic abuser this guy is a criminal he not only he but it was a Croatian Ustasha state that destroyed this little guy that I demonstrated you earlier yeah this this patient Ivan See this guy it was Croatian Ustasha state that destroyed this guy that you see right there with his leg that you see him right there because they wanted to destroy me where he worked as a medical worker the so-called medical worker chiropractic at the, at the beginning of this Domovinsky Rat Croatian war uh, and where I was delivered it was his friends who assisted one in torture it was these people these Croatian soldiers these people over there that worked alongside with him they assisted him that helped him out they tortured for and on behalf of Croatian government and then they changed the story and they started to semi see themselves in me and so on and so forth my god this is a stink that is worse than a Serbian that is worse than a Russian one that we see in 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 Ukraine and I am disgraced I'm ashamed to be a neighbor to be a Croat neighbor this is disgusting this is disgusting that something like this eventually I got in return for sacrificing my life for the Croatian state I did sacrifice the life for Croatian state I am not this Serb that you see right there that is bald head with the name Pavlovich Ante that went on to make a good commercial for the Croatian state around the world for the whole world basically to hate Ukraine and so on I'm not the one I'm real I'm real but this is what Milan Kuchan demanded this is what Slovenian police believed together with a, with a Croatian prosecution with a with a Croatian state sa hrvatskim saborom in Croatia they have a sabor they don't have a parliament they believe that they're going to portray my relationship with my father visits to my father also to the hospital exactly to those that you see is are exist between this guy and that man right there who was hiding sometimes at the neighbors and so on and so forth they were basically playing with the sanity, fucking brave, fucking with the sanity of this old man. But I will never forget the words of the Croatian politicians. Come on, Sanader. Come on, Milovanovic. Come on, guys. 
come out. Linda. Tell us about what you stated me at the end of the war in Croatia. You're going to use this man, this little man for. Useless otherwise, but even that you're going to use him for something is basically destroying me. Those are the words I want to hear from your mouth again, from your politicians at the sub. Talk about the Kulinda Grabar, talk about not talking about the Kulinda Grabar. I'm talking about politicians that met with the with the Borat Pahor, with Milan Kuchan, possibly even Kulinda Grabar. I don't think there was any difference between any of these politicians. I think they also served to the same purpose. They failed. You know why they failed? They failed because the people in London are going to get fucked. This isn't about the Slovenian police. They know that I have to cross the father over the father's corpse to get to them. They know this. They know that once I'm going to reject the father, that I'm going to go after the father, that I will prosecute father for this stuff with the police. They know there is no fucking mercy. They know it's going to go through the court. They know it's going to be Interpol. They know it's going to be the police all over the place. That I want them on the plate. London knows it. White House knows it. Jimmy Carter knows it. Just like Joe Biden and entire U.S. Congress knows about this stuff. They know about this stuff. Angela Merkel knows that she is safe as long as my father is over there like this doing this kind of stuff. As long as I'm drinking coffee, maybe I'm not going to even be capable to submit the complaint. Maybe I will die before that. You, you understand this drill now here? Do you, get, do you get the point of where the fuck we're going to? You destroyed me 52 years of life. You mistaken the identity here. And this man right there, whom I have associated you with, is working with somebody who got Ukraine burned to the ground. You are bound to be prosecuted by the police. You financed all this stuff. You ought to pay for this stuff. This is another evening that is going to the fuck. Another one of my evenings that I could sleep and do my stuff as you refer to me. Why don't you live a normal life? Why don't you live a normal life? You remember at the beginning of the video when I told you that I am hallucinating to finish and submit complaint to police. And I deliberately said I am hallucinating because it's already finished almost. But with the amount of crime, with the degree of crime, the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch is enforcing with the Slovenian police against me on behalf of London, on behalf of Slovenian government, on behalf of Slovenian Supreme Court, Novo Mesto Police, Psychiatry Ljubljana Polje. It seems like a rather I will die of the cancer. And there were so many people involved in this ordeal that suffered cancer. He was imprisoned, and from what I understand, At the prison, infected with a cancer also. This Croatian prison that they got in, and they did the same stuff to, to him as they did to me. Hey, that's a strong possibility, but I would believe one more if he would wear shoes. It really won't matter, because they basically, they go and they kill one person after another, leaving behind no trace. Today, during the visit of my father and home for elderly people. This is going to be a little longer video. Oops, that's two hours. Finally, we get to the father now. According, exactly accordingly, with MK Ultra scenario, it was director of facility 
home of elderly people who met me. And she, back in her day, was a good-looking lady, uh, for whom, however, I did not know that she is really... She worked in administration, but she would meet me. She left 20 years ago, she said now. Today, she said. Because I insisted that I know her from this facility, and uh, I do. Except that uh, she would meet me. She became a new director at this facility. Now She replaced the old director. She became a new director. And when she became a new director uh, during this MK Ultra torture bestiality where I was brought to this home for elderly people, she, first of all, she anticipated, I'm going to say that my father is tortured and so on, was tortured and so on. The thing is, I told her, you can expect police from me because you tortured me inside you, your facility. You had me tortured inside this facility. Um, she met me over the course of the years at the department where my father is, on that same floor, in all the floors throughout the building. So it could be a visitor. Well, not really in that sense, but... She was trying to question whether I really know her and so on. Well, I'm going to say that she gave expression like she cares about me. She was always good looking to me under MK Ultra and Slovenian police, whoever appeared, whichever female appeared to me that is good looking, uh, figure out is going to be using something like this to pressure me, basically to allow, basically to cooperate, to work so that it would be, you know, all good, all good, you know? Uh, I would go along, basically, because the whole case for the last 52 years was based on starvation of the female. What a starvation, my God. The worst starvation in, in the history of the humankind. Millions of beautiful females, but no female, really. Female, yes, few females, but... What a strange circumstances. And somehow relationships that I already have spoken about that just would not work out. And every female that was interested that was, it was just uh, intercepted, basically. The same shit like my revenues from advertisement revenues from video channels and uh, right to employment. Absolutely everything, like wherever I was brought to Brazil or wherever I was brought, uh, it was always, it never was between, really between me and people over there, but it always was between Kuchan and the people there. I was just there to be killed, off, to be tortured, to be massacred, basically, butchered. That's all there was. Walking basically without one week of sleep, two weeks of sleep, three weeks of sleep, one month of sleep, pain, cardiovascular pain, on a plane basically like Vladimir Putin did in 2015, 2016. He found more and more and more families, Russian families interested in helping me out. They barely brought me in, barely I was standing, I couldn't stand on my feet, I had a cardiac arrest all over. It was already another Russian family interested in a freebie to whatever fucking place. Let's go on a fucking place and let's travel. We're going to go to another, we have to go. No, no, no. We, we too, we too. Uh, they show the, the, the paperwork and so on. We too. Now we, go, we take him next. We, we have him. Uh, we go next location. On the plane, what was interesting, the sleep was not allowed. When I wanted to sleep, Russians intercepted. No sleep, immediately MK Ultra scenario. And they started to entertain and ask questions and all kinds of stupid stuff. They learned already from the Russian government how they have to do torture. So it wasn't Russian government, only British paid to whoever from wherever was willing to torture, to kill, basically. Whoever was willing to kill, they paid. 
I want you to understand what type of crime this is because there's much more to it than my identifying just people and buildings. The nature of the crime itself is more interesting. It's more important than anything else. You know how it all ends? With this here. It says, the guy that's reading a newspaper says, on a newspaper it says only 50 cents. And it says, next scandal coming soon. Scandal. This is how the British royal gets by. They murder, they kill, they leave corpses behind. And they cover them with the scandals. If it's the worst, the worst comes to worst, and the truth comes out, they have already many other scandals to cover up for it. They remain over there. But people get killed left and right. The guy over there supposedly, according to the Freddie Mercury, was a police officer. That's how he... Uh, if you're going to look this video from Freddie Mercury. Today, at the home for elderly people, um, I just realized what a mistake I have made because I was going to go from the video to with a telephone, but um, then I did came to conclusion that rather than using a rather than using a telephone, I would be just using a laptop because this laptop is a laptop. The battery is not bad. I can do the same. Pretty much. Yeah. Weird. As I would do with the uh, will be the same thing as if I would do with the. Uh, With the telephone, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this stuff here. And we have the whole file, and I'm going to open the audio. And uh, then what we're going to do, I am just going to go ahead, and I'm going to tell you what exactly happened today. So that you get... Uh, So that you get the whole idea about uh, what exactly Slovenian prosecution, Slovenian state, or I should say what exactly my father had implicated himself into. There is a video right there. And so the first thing I'm going to start is going to be with the... Uh, Translation of the audio recording. This is going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Um, let me just see something.
at the entrance uh, to the building today, the director prompted me uh, in front of the receptionist who insisted that I have to be aware that today she is on duty uh, and that I have to be aware that Uh, they are going to close the facility, they are going to close for the day that I have to respect basically the work hours and uh, live before they, uh, before she is off officially for the day. Therefore, at 19.45, that I have to make sure that I come downstairs and depart, basically. At 1945, uh, she ends her work, her shift. I should be at the receptionist at the front desk, also in the department, in the building. And uh, for that matter, uh, that I have to make sure that I'm there. Uh, and she stated this exactly according to the theater scenario, the case would be right in front of the director. Director of the Home for Elderly People, right? So we are talking about this facility here. We are talking about Mrs. Yerich. This is a director of Home for Elderly People. She committed another crime today. This is another criminal offense she committed. This is even worse. Um, I am going to miss sleep. I'm going to, I am forced to stay longer. Uh, it, um, uh, it brain kills me even more. It causes more stress to me. Uh, it disallows me to go on with the life uh, and it's just causing more and more and more problems, greater and greater difficulty for me to survive this ordeal. They want me to die from the cancer at all the costs, as I stated. That is not a good stuff to, to do this kind of stuff, lady. I am going to accuse you literally attempt to murder me. It wasn't, it's not going to be only about the torture that you committed inside of this facility, but literally giving your best to assist police, cops, psychiatrist Peter Kops, to get me killed, literally. You know that you're killing me with this kind of stuff, lady. You know that. So this is the home for elderly people. Of course, again, uh, there was ambulance vehicle that awaited me when I arrived there, uh, a parking spot right here where you see that car and actually copy paste from this MK Ultra torture, uh, that kind of stuff. You know how much I would love to go physician to physician to examine myself, to get the urgent medication to survive? You know, it was debate whether you should be even talking about the money and stuff like this, when you're going to be, in fact, fighting for your life to stay alive. And look how the fuck I have to spend my time. You know, and the father is lying over there, lying and lying. He's lying and laying on the bed so that, you know, you get whatever you want to get with your Croatian Ustasha state, right? The Croatian Ustasha state claimed me that this is just going to be to help me and so on. Yeah, it sure is. How much did the Judas from Slovenia, how many silver coins did you collect it to get me killed? How much did the British pay you to get me killed? How much do Americans pay you to get me killed? How much the Germans paid you? Italians, how much they pay you to get me killed? 
because I know that you got the money and even more so the Croats got the money. I know that Sana there is not working for free. I know there is money over there. I know that Croatian politicians collected corruption for business, for all kinds of stuff that these beatings, this bestiality that went on in Croatia, in every village, in every Croatian village, not only the city. I know it was not for free. How much you get for this? How much they pay you for this stuff? You, my friends, that you liked me so much, but you just have to kill me. Uh, somehow I am not lucky. Somehow I just... Uh, Somehow I'm just uh, not lucky, huh? That I was somehow born under the unlucky star, I guess, huh? Plenkovic, how much money do they pay you to get me killed? You tell me, Plenkovic. Ustasha, tell me how much. How much they pay you to get me killed? I want to hear, you know, man? You're fucked. I will demand 10 life sentences, 100 life sentences for the stuff you did. You got involved in it. You, you did. You did more than Milovanovic or anybody else. You wanted me dead since my childhood, together with Mil Milanovic and everybody else. How much they pay you for this stuff? Juda, how much they pay you for this stuff? Now I almost sound like a Dr. Pavlovich. Pavlovich, Ante Pavlovich, the same shit. You're going to have a real problem because of this stuff. I hope so. I hope I get you on a court. I hope you. I visit you inside of the jail. I, I hope, my friend, that we see each other in the jail. And this time, I will not be in the jail. This time, you will be in the jail. I came to the father for a visit. He says that's nice. Uh, 15 minutes to 20 hundred hours. You need to be downstairs. He closed the door. Okay. Uh, I said okay, and she's asking me, "Is it? Uh, do you understand, basically?" Okay. I said okay. I was the chocolate. Uh, I will be waiting for you. Uh, it's very, very important for me to stress the lady the last time when they made me a problem upstairs and I had to look for a staff and they would not change the clothing for the father and that kind of stuff. I think it was back then that, uh, again, I was late exiting the building. Uh, did exactly according to MK Ultra have eventually hidden herself behind where the people go, workers, and they punch cards, the time cards. When they go and they punch the cards inside, where they come to work, to report themselves for work, punch card. Uh, something, I think it's like, uh, something like that. Uh, behind the corner, where is the receptionist, and then there is, uh, I, I should have like a picture from the lobby and so on. Exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. I came downstairs. I was late, I have to say. Uh, and I looked at the receptionist and I said to myself, it's all actually audio recorded, even. She was not at the front desk. And I said to myself, but then let me go to the toilet. This is gonna, somebody's going to come and it's going to let me out. Yeah. So uh, I did go to the toilet. Uh, and as I'm heading out, she comes out from behind the corner. And I said, well, I said, so you have not left home. And uh, 
Jesus, uh, I was waiting for you. Oh, okay. So it became evident, especially because they stated me it's going to be exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. And it's also what the lady you're about to hear next stated me will be literally video recording my departures and collecting the proofs against me. That was her warning in a parenthesis uh, about, well, I stress, I explained very good on how Slovenian police with the Croatian state wanted to portray this case together with Americans. People in the U.S. Congress, they love to see this shit. Oh, look at that. Look at the motherfucker so you can go off. Pouches, oh. Mike Johnson, and so on. This garbage that barricaded the home here in Slovenia with the Slovenian police, and they tortured here to oblivion. That's the job. That's where they get paid. That's where they work so hard. That's, that's what it is. Laugh, motherfuckers. Laugh. Keep laughing at it. So, I come to the lobby in front of two ladies. One lady, I told you, is a receptionist who, according to MK Ultra, what she was, she will be referring to, have even hidden herself from receptionist desk. Was not sitting at the receptionist desk when I came downstairs. And made sure that when I came downstairs with a view from from uh, direction or area where you would go toward the elevators uh, and escalators, uh, stairways, uh, not the one that you would go out through the door and then you would go up the stairs, but from the area where, make sure that I would not see her at the, at the desk. So I proceeded which is the straight to the restroom. And from there, I wanted to go home, logically, right? Take yourself a warm water. It's got to be really warm. If it's not warm, I shouldn't even drink, is what psychiatry stuff stated me. We we're so pleased to cause cancer, bowel cancer, cancer in intestines. Uh, and it's a crime to drink hot water, and it's a crime to go to the toilet, obviously. And that's basically what they were catching to. And these are the proofs. And, uh, but then not again, because guess what? My father is all fucked up. Uh, and they are now in hurry. Because, you know, if they don't get him, if they don't get this procedure through the Slovenian courts and police investigated, my, father, my dad is going to fucking die over there. He's so old, he's going to die. They did not do any kind of physical exercise with him. They did not exercise him. Uh, they literally throw him on a dead bed. Um, and he was stupid enough to see himself all the way into this thing. Basically, he followed blindly their orders with the idea to get me killed eventually. Me to lose temper. Uh, mind drive me insane through this guest lighting with the sirens and everything deliveries and so on uh reminders of what was done to me right about the torch and so on and so something would come out through right and so now all of a sudden it's pretty close to uh this completion of this complaint they came up with a scenario they're gonna say solve the whole thing with the slovenian police Either way, yeah. Uh, based on the stuff, these people don't have any any anything that would suggest that I had done something to my father or that I wasn't there for him just so I would make his life better in the home for elderly people. Although they wanted to portray me literally as the guy that you see right there from Croatian state they financed with the idea to get me destroyed. Um, 
but you know solving the case like this is is uh, not good enough you know i am willing to take more of this stuff just so basically i get it done my way the way i want with the police you know you know i want to step on your throats a little bit different than the guy that you have seen i want to grab you and pull you in the wagon throw you inside of the back of the cars and take you to the nice place where you belong to, where you already overly do. You fucking scum. I do, I do. And for that matter, I'm willing to suffer a little bit more. If it's more cancer, we're going to do more cancer. But I want you. I wouldn't want any other. I want you. I have a good taste. I know what the fuck I want. Um, this here I have amplified the video uh, and right now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna shit there's no way I can de-amplify this stuff that's interesting eh? um well, you know what? That's okay. In that case, I'm just going to go to here, and we're going to do another one. Oh. Okay, so now we have two, and this is okay. 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 That was right there, standing right there. Where do we know each other from? No. She says, no, I don't know if we know each other. She, she does not know if we know each other. She says, no, we don't know each other. She says, do you know me? Do you know? Uh, she's lying here, obviously. She's saying... No. We don't know if we know each other. No. Uh, I don't know. We probably we don't. This is Mrs. Yerich, director of this home. No. Do, do you know me? She says. No. If I know you, I said, if I would know you. She says something like, uh, sounds like you're fucking stupid, basically, or saying fuck you, basically. Uh, something like difficult, yeah. And when I say difficult, the lady was in particular insultive during MK Ultra. Hey, they treated me like I'm mentally retarded. They saw mental patient in me. Hey, it's like you don't know me. <laughs> You don't know me, you know. You don't know me. Cuckoo, you don't know me. <laughs> I said, when you were much younger, I still remember you. And uh, yeah. she says, me? I said, yeah. <laughs> and she's laughing. <laughs> and I said to her, but you know from here. In this, she's not laughing anymore. Yeah. She says, from here? I said, yeah. Hmm. I said, yeah, from here, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. It's normal. Okay, yeah. 
from here, yeah? I said, yes, from here, yeah. She says, I was a social worker when I was here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Social mm -hmm. worker. Okay. I said, aha, okay. Papa is the vet, bro. I said, really? I said, you were a social worker here. I said, and, and then you no longer were? I said, no. She said, now I am director here. I said, so you're director. Director is the Aha. Uh, I said, okay, I said, fine. She said, she says, okay. I said, yeah. And she started telling me that I have to be there 15 minutes before 20 hundred hours. She, she becomes patronizing. She is giving me now a lesson. Basically, she committed the crime right now. Yes. This lady was involved in a torture more than 20 years. 20 years ago, she left. Uh, but uh, she returned after the 20 years. But this lady was involved in crime all along, as I stated. During the torture, she would visit here. She would come from Ljubljana. She was involved in Ljubljana in the torture and also here. She would pay visits oftentimes during the torture here and would pay would pay the debt for psychiatrist Peter Kapschen for the Slovenian police that would have me locked inside of that room where father is bedridden uh, and tortured. She would pay visitations whenever there would be a lengthy torture. They would have me inside of this facility. That's when she would pay the lengthy torture and would be assuring me that it's going to be okay. Or if she was in Novomesto, somehow I would meet her inside of this facility. Uh, so when she started telling me about how I have to be 15 minutes before they close the building, I tell, I tell her straight, you know, you have a lot of problems here. I tell her. Okay. Mm. You have a lot of problems in this home for elderly people, I tell her. Uh, you might expect shortly a police visit mm. together with me. Mm. Uh, and she's like, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, well, you know, let's see. Uh, a lot of problems you caused. I was tortured inside of this home. And I go straight and I tell her, on me, you, I tell her, you engaged in a physical and psychological violence inside of this home for elderly people. I look at her right there and stand in front of her and I accuse her of crimes. Not only home for elderly people. This is the director of the facility. You had me locked inside here mm. and you tortured physically and psychologically. That's one thing. The second thing. And the second thing I basically explained her that during the visit to the father, I had to look for the staff on both floors on the floor where my father was and on the floor below I had to look for uh, for the staff so they would change uh, clothing which was all infested with the diarrhea. Father had diapers needed to have changed and there was nobody on the floor and it was really cynically when I was even told by the staff that for the duration of the visit they would not change, they would not clean father because they would not want to deprive me of the precious moments with my father, right? So now we go, again, we go back to the same issue, which I uh, demonstrated you earlier, was this kind of issue here, if you like, between this guy here, um,
Yeah. Uh, you see the lady, right? The lady that I told you about how they prepare domestic case against this thug, this Croatian thug. Uh, here in mind, I have this Croatian lady here. You know, I have the Croatian lady. The video, I the best video that I will do is basically the video that, uh, you know, when I mentioned to you earlier about uh, about this stuff here, how they poisoned, uh, how he claimed they poisoned him and animals and stuff like this. Uh, even the Slovenian police investigator, a gangster who met me at the police station of Amesto where I came to request for the medical files pertaining to my father. And another individual who met me at Gabrie at, at, uh, with the blue Volkswagen station golf station wagon who met me at Brusnice. Both of these people, those are the people that would go and visit him and they would video record, they would give him advice on what they want from him to get me involved in what kind of conversation and so on. So they would video record, get the proofs the way they want it and that kind of stuff. That's based, this, this case here, this is based on my story of this individual, however, up to the certain degree, uh, this is a misinterpretation of my story of what Slovenian police did to me, and it is what Croatian state prepared against one as a domestic case, long overdue case, that Slovenian police was going to use him like a uh, a thief, a criminal, a gangster can compare that with me. This is why I'm wasting tonight another evening. Now, what I have encountered at Home for Elderly People tonight, when it comes to the director of the Home for Elderly People, who alone stated me will be having video recording the tapes about when my exit in the building and stuff like this is fucking incredible. U pasu da ima probleme razne za diareo. So I explained her about why I was late, why I'm even coming, why I even had to come out late from the building in respect to the personnel that is employed here in this facility and so on, which they did according to MK Ultra Brainwash also. So you can imagine how sick this shit is. Somebody in my skin, when I started to video record this video, would not even have a chance to hope for a better tomorrow, for a normal tomorrow, for the job, for the money in the pocket, for the ability to go buy himself a food whenever the fuck you want, buy himself a merchandise, whatever, order from the internet and so on. Something that British royals were laughing at me, gesturing me that I don't know what the value of health is, and gesturing me that I don't appreciate the money, the ability to go and purchase with the money, basically, the independence, the self-sustainability. Talking about the Harry and William here, who mistreated me, suggesting me that, you know, basically you don't even know what the fuck you live for, you know, what the fuck you want. Well, at the same time, I told you, I was not even allowed to wear glasses with my dioptry. I was not even allowed, basically, you understand me, even allowed to keep my teeth inside of my teeth. And if I would complain about the teeth, that my teeth would be broken, bitten up, I would lose teeth, I would pick up the teeth from the floor if I would talk about my teeth and so on. No, I want you to understand the background of it all, what kind of a weight this director bears with her. Just as the previous one, Slovenian police, what kind of case they created on behalf of London.
delo na ovom mestu, vaše zaposlene, da bi lahko, je pa to sobo 2.03 avsec sobo, ki sem pa avsec boštjan, da se predstavlja. No, redno. I want to make sure that you understand who I am, that I am from 203, that I am Alsace Bustian and my father is in 203 and so on. I want them to understand this stuff. I want them to understand who I am, what I am, even that she knows me so good. Uh, I want her to understand who she was talking to. Exactly. So you write it? Yevich Mateja. Aha. So she tell me her name. Her name is Jerič Mateja. Tazga, kar pričte, pa bomo pogledali, kaj se nareš. Nisem še končal, nisem še povedal. Glih nekaj tazga se je nam red zgodilo takrat, ker sem... She says, you can come and tell me, you can come and visit us and tell me and so on. Probo dobiti pomoč. And she turns around and she wants to walk away from me when she says that. Like, she treats me like a shit right there. She is looking at me, doubting me, uh, turns around and is ready to walk, you know. Uh, they want some kind of a psychological, emotional reaction to mistreatment. You know? So you can see how far this stuff goes. And I alert her, I said, you know, what you did right now, that you turn around and you walk away from me. This is exactly in the middle of the conversation, right? You don't do this stuff like this to people, I know her. Yeah, that's exactly what your staff have done to me, who insisted my not losing as they sadistically, not sarcastically, but this is a sadism, refer to my father is diapers, which were full of uh, diarrhea. They would not clean them till I would go, uh, you know, home, basically for the entire duration of meeting with the father, right? So you, I tell her, that you're doing exactly the same thing. You're just turning it back and you're walking away from me while I'm talking to you. Exactly what your staff did when I was talking to them, yeah? Possibly, in a cynic way. I couldn't find them in the spade, in the strop, in the spade, in the spade, in the spade. The beginning, I didn't have to be obleči, ki je imel polne gate s tem, da sem bil jaz na obisku, zaradi tega, da men ne bi odozel dragocenih minut, kakor je vaša delo, ker tukaj povedala in tako naprej. Tako da, obisk policije lahko pričakuje. Hvala lepa. So I tell her, you can, so you can, you can, you can be sure, in short, you're going to have a visit from the police station. Thank you so much. And she turns it on and she goes. She says me uh, good night and I tell her uh, same to you, good evening, have a nice evening. Tako sem zgubil tiste dragocene minute in zaradi tega me je ona čakala tukaj. I also tell why I was late that evening, departing from the building. Yeah. So I come to the father. I come to the father now. I am at the father right now. This is, a, uh, you know, th this is just a long video that I'm going to put online also. But as I am going to be doing that, uh, I will, you know, next to all this stuff, to report about the stuff like this, Vladimir Putin demanded this kind of stuff to be done. British Royal demanded this kind of stuff to be done so that it would have a soft impact on crime, on genocide they enforced against me, you know. So you will be talking about the father, so it's all like not certain about, you know, the more, this is like interferenza, you know, something that interferes with the stuff that uh, it's, it's very important for me to stress, finish, go about my life. Uh, they embedded also, next to all other stuff I do, issue with the father, right? They figure out 
I'm sure the life of your father is going to be important to you. So why don't we go and fuck you also with the stuff like this? No. So this is just uh, the way British do it. You know, if Putin is animal, uh, if Russians are animals, uh, that doesn't mean the British are any better. That's what I'm trying to say. What you are going to see next was basically during the visit to the father. Somehow uh, I wasn't, I did not copy and paste that stuff inside, but this is also the video. It will be uploaded and posted below. Uh, will be this stuff here. Yeah. First, when I entered the room uh, here, they're praying like somebody is going to die just about any time. When you okay. You know, that kind of stuff, basically, you know. There's a lot. I see the father is all Texas. lethargic. Whatever is that they give him, it's not okay. This is this is a honey, mountains of honey. Uh, Mom said that gives him the biscuits with the coffee. So this is really uh, when I consider the honey, I don't know how much. Uh... It's a very very energetic stuff, you know. Uh, my mother claims that he takes, she takes the father for a ride with a wheelchair and that they go walk, uh, not walk, but uh, that it is some exercise involved in it. I see the coffee comes straight into the father's room. I don't know if father is making any so kind of exercise. Upstairs, you know, I don't see that he would be doing any kind of exercise. Actually, I really don't know what goes on, really. She is uh, taking one to buffet. Very difficult to know what exactly is going on because the director of the facility, uh, the physicians, they all do their stuff the way they do. Of course, father don't want to do. They do. He doesn't want to tell. For a hope. So I ask him if I want to make a massage to him so that that I would massage his feet and. I realized he doesn't say anything, whether he wants massage or not, you know. <laughs> uh, what you see right there is insane behavior. That's 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 uh, uh, faking, acting. And that's why I stated that once I'm done recording this video, police is welcome to come to pick him up. 
because the first thing I'm going to request is for this individual to be transferred to the prison facility, receive the medical care, and get a full confession about the crime. So from there on, we're going to be deciding about other issues with this criminal. That's the number one thing. You don't do the stuff like this when I do all best to my abilities to make sure that you would not suffer. I took the sock from his leg, which was extremely tight, very, very gently, absolutely. What he did was just part of his acting he did throughout his life. He created a noise in accordance with the medical staff that was enough for the medical staff to arrive in the room and ask me what the fuck am I doing. If I have to go back to Janis Ogulin, to the director of the Novel Mesto Police, right? We have to go back and do this kind of stuff. We are here right now. Sve su se institucije sada sjatile na horor... To se ne smije. Lik do... Čitu... Da vidi. Istu kao ga je bičan. Dobio je 22 mjeseca. Tražio je da mu pokaže spolovilo. Kada je to dijete odbilo, istu kao ga je bičan. Dobio je 22 mjeseca zatvora. Kažnjen je i otac dijeteta. Da, 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 da Tada se javnost digla na noge pravobraniteljica za djecu, ministarstvo sve do prošlog priveden preko do gol da pokaže susjedima kako je otrovan. Sudac nije našao shodnim psihijatrijski ga vještačiti, već ga je pustio na slobodu. Pustit ću vas unutra da vidiš, niko nije vidio. Pokazao nam je kako je bio onašli količin dio svom YouTube kanalu. Uzrok smrti nije objavljivao. Konja je navodno odvela njegova kćer, a pse je preuzeo dumovec. Preuzeli smo tri pe... They took the homeless animals and the horse was taken to... Ja sam govorio o ljute, o kakvi laovi i kakvi čoveče. Kur? This is basically the way they wanted to... They wanted to portray me as... Talking about the novel, Mr. Police here. Um... Uh, this kind of stuff, basically the way I did to this guy here talking about my father is, I don't think it's any different from, actually, when I considered this and I really took him socks as gently as much as possible, right? You know, you don't fucking see this guy that is having uh, fingers missing. You know what I mean? He is not, he is not, he is not doing a noise like this. You know what I'm saying? And this guy here, this guy is fucking losing fingers. He have a fingers lost. You see what this is? He is quiet. He doesn't give noise. And I'm not asking for my father. 
to be like this in absolutely any way. I'm not requesting from my father to act like this because this is insane. But that you're going to give me a feedback that made eventually nurses run from the hallway, from their office. Because I make easy for you. Because I help you out. Because I actually come and I care for you. I take the socks off and I make sure that you're not going to have your feet squeeze while you sleep and before you go at night time, you see. And you do the stuff like this. Uh, listen, this is this is a cry for help because somebody somebody is killing you. This is a terror, basically. This is a terror. This is a terror, basically. This is very bad for the blood circulation. It's a war. Uh, that uh, immediately a medical staff arrives because this is the noise he makes because I took the socks off so he will have his feet circulation in his feet uh, if he likes you know uh, you know and she tells me well, he likes the socks because uh, the socks, uh, they keep him warm at night. Uh, but the thing about it is, it's the same thing according to MK Ultra, which psychiatrist Peter Kopf insisted they would put these socks to him a uh, few hours before I would appear, etc. You know, that kind of stuff, basically. And it's exactly what it appears, basically. Uh, as I tell her nicely that the socks are blocking the circulation, and she says, "Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, squeeze him even a bit." She says, "It doesn't squeeze him even a bit." She doesn't allow me to say. To talk to her again she's going to turn around and give me a back look at the posture of the father and meanwhile he positioned himself like he is righteous like he just right now suffered in a process i tell her excuse me but you turn me a back again right now Uh, she's treating me like a shit at this point. She's treating me like a shit. She does not allow me to talk like in a civilized way. Uh, she had to go and actually she didn't even say that. And she says, what do you want to tell? Uh, I stated to him, I isn't him a problem. Uh, obviously, that you said it was not tied the socks. If it wasn't the, the socks, if it, the socks were not tied, tied, uh, it wouldn't hurt him so much. And exactly according to MKL to scenario, the nurse goes to the next step and says. She, she keeps repeating about uh, tie, socks being tied. Ischio means uh, pressure in him. And so what I do is, according to instructions again, police is using the scenario. Uh, according to instructions, exactly according to MK Ultra's instructions, I take the camera just as the nurses alone instructed me.
and I go and I feel the father's feet where you can see the marks from the socks pressuring one. Uh, and I said, are you, how do you know that they are not pressuring him? Do you know they are not pressuring him? And she says, yes, I know, because, because of the skin on his feet. So she's giving me basically everything according to MKO instructions. I go and I pick up the camera. And I said, it's good that you reminded me. I tell her, it's good that you reminded me of MK Ultra. Basically, it's good that you reminded me. You can see that uh, he does have marks, right? Clearly that he does have marks. Uh, not really, because if they would be squeezing him more, if he had this all day long, it would be bigger marks. There are marks, the marks can be seen, but those are the marks that Slovenian police, that psychiatrist Peter Kopsch demanded for me to take in account in consideration to demonstrate my father as somebody who is suffering and basically... Not somebody who is in bed, and I don't want to be in that bed. I just want the medication for the cancer, you know. I rather than waste time like this. I just want, I'm hallucinating about completing the police complaint so that I can concentrate on the money, on the life, on the issues that you have ripped me off. You destroyed me, annihilated me, 52 years of life. I don't have a kids, I don't have a wife, I missed my life, and I am paying visitation to the home for elderly, to what any nation in the world, or any person for that matter, would see as a hardcore criminal. So the Slovenian police can take more time away, push more toward more coffee, do more kill, do more damage, do more harm, basically with the staff from Home for Elderly People, so that London gives more money, America pays that kind of stuff. White House does not want to find itself on a trial. The U.S. Congress is doing everything possible to keep them as safe as possible. And look at the miracle. In Ukraine, it's Joe Biden that has a problem passing bill for assistance to Ukraine, $61 billion. It's just like but Joe Biden saying basically that what the fuck are you saying, sir? What is it that troubles you so much? What is it that you cannot? Why is it that you cannot pass the bill? What is it? The problem is that you should never be the U.S. president, but you are U.S. president because you were involved in genocide against me since my early age. And you are conditioning me, my life, genocide against me with liberation of Ukraine. So pretty much this is all I wanted to, to, for you to see from this video. Uh, I am going to go ahead. I am going to post this uh, video.
they were playing they were playing even with the socks they were playing even with the socks during mk ultra they were playing even with the socks during mk ultra and this is beyond disgusting this is what slovenian croatian state had on their mind basically uh to do this is what there was there they wanted slovenian and croatian state wanted to make an argument to put the whole story to the end during which croatian state would take side against slovenian against slovenian state for my sake uh portraying this guy as exactly what you have seen the croatian state using that old man right there would take a stand in my defense uh simply by suggesting that this is not the same case that this is completely different that is exactly the opposite etc 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 but the slovenian and croatian state uh, statesmen both dreamed about they dreamed about union of the croatia and slovenia etc 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 uh they they dreamed about they hallucinated about political issues they would realize literally true to me uh with what appears possibly even british and americans seeing themselves in it uh, rather than solving it a normal and civilized way according to the law the way it goes british as always royalists royale wanted to make a sensation in other words joke out of the genocide portray themselves as useful people as somebody who does move countries and is uh, you know you get the drill you understand me i i don't have understanding for the stuff like this and as i stated i'm going to start with the father because i want to make I want to clean it up. I want to clean it up. You understand? I want to do the cleaning. I want to clean that British garbage. That German Bundestag. Washington DC. I want to I want to I want to drain the swamp. But not like Donald Trump. I want Donald Trump gone too. He's part of, he's the biggest, maybe one of the biggest problems. He's the most criminal, the most corrupt garbage in the United States of America. Garbage that destroyed public educational system, anywhere from prisons to education, privatized through the garbage, through the scum, through the crime, through the corruption, like you see in my case, is taking place demonstrating it that it's a private companies that can run better than corrupt public employees that are deliberately destroying the system you know what the corruption does it, is, it kills a lot in my case it destroys 52 years of my life it wasn't about the theft of the money it was about the culture of killing it was about the culture of torturing me ungoingly under the cardiovascular under the cardio under under the heart attack basically under the cardiac arrest torture under the cardi cardio cardio arrest and even what became a cancer cancer dots cancer locations not only created on one part of the body but on the several parts of the body torture that went on by assigning me a, literally a space inside of the psychiatric mental asylum labeling me as mentally ill etc etc in the name of the freedom in the name of the better world more just equality in the world this video we will post it below don't you worry you have nothing to worry about it
You see what this is? What time do you see right there? 1945. This is right outside of the door, walking toward my car. You see it. It says 1945. You see, 1945, one more view of the facility and I'm gone. 1945, you see this year? This, you see this year? See the time, 2022. These are the two original yes. recordings. This matters actually, this. You see this stuff here? And we're going to coordinate this audio, even video recording, because of the director from. And that's basically how I do the job. The facility with the online time. Do you see this? You see my time on my camera? You see the news on the Yahoo? And now tell me what time is it comparing to my camera? It looks like they have a Merry Christmas. Because the recorder is still rolling on. No. And I did not change the time or anything like I that for that matter. Enough you see this here? Sure I would take you see it, right? So it matches 2023. Prior to exiting up to the last second so it is matching I'm gonna puncture just want to make sure that you understand I was out at 1945 during the but there is something else that's going to be out at 1945 too as I stated there will be a police visit facility but it will be police visit with me Yerich met me today at the front desks a nurse Andrea Yerich was her name. That's what they terrorized also with, with the issue of Andrea Yerich, psychiatric nurse Andrea Yerich. Same as Mateja Yerich, as director of the Home for Elderly, and they, uh, and they terrorized with that kind. Those are the issues they played with. Well, we're going to see how long, we're going to see how much longer you're going to be playing with this stuff. Uh, the reception is this and uh, what is ahead in this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do, I know that this is already a long video, but I'm going to still use the opportunity uh, to basically play one more time this audio recording to you, which audio, entire audio is going to be also, I'm going to put one below. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, if you want the original audio recording of entire incident, uh, it all will be here. It will be listed separately, everything, and audio is going to be separately listed, and another thing is going to be this video is going to be posted on top of it, and the long video also will be posted in. So you're going to be able to see both of them. Uh, the roommate, yes, the roommate, not to forget to mention, we're going to mention this here too. The roommate, it was the first day he got an exercise. Today, they started to do the, finally, they started to do the exercise. The roommate did the exercise today. Um, first time he did the exercise. Believe it or not. It is some crazy shit. Uh, that's also interesting. Um, maybe this is, this is, this is a very important, this is a very good way for me to end. I told you about that I hallucinate about completion of the complaint, which is already completed. Or I should rather say kind of almost completed because there's a lot of work ahead of me, a lot of work to do to get this, a lot of strength necessary to get this stuff completed. And it's very difficult under this kind of circumstances when you're dealing with this kind of issues. This is how I went home. There is a scooter, electric scooter that goes 
five miles an hour that uh, it's co it's a co it's completely fucking around for what psychiatrist peter cup stated me if you're going to be doing a very slow job with your complaint you know <laughs> at the end right when you go home we fuck you then we're going to do the scooter that is going to block the traffic and that's exactly what happened uh, that car position it's himself in front of one does this shit it's completely fucked up look at that this here is what we have now there you go so this is this is sick this is a shit sick shit this is psychotic stuff man then 10 miles this is hour. this is totally totally psychotic stuff uh what we have going on is actually completely psychotic like like what else the fuck are you gonna do next i mean i mean obviously that when complaint has too many proofs involved in it obviously when complaint have too much stuff involved in it, this isn't about complaint anymore this is about making fucking show this is about making fucking people happy at the United Nations inside of the London, Berlin, Rome, and so on. Make them fucking happy in Washington, D.C., watching this, laughing about it, laughing to fucking ass about it, looking forward to get me killed. You're fucking killing me. You're engaging in a fucking process of killing by allowing Slovenian police to do this stuff like this talking to Interpol, talking to United Nations, talking to Central Intelligence Agency, FBI, law enforcement. You're fucking doing this stuff. You're allowing this stuff. You are enforcing this stuff for your masters. So there is no such thing here as a Slovenian police or whatever. You are doing this stuff. You are enforcing it. And you actually triggered through the YouTube. You wanted the show. You want it this way. There will be no Croatian-Slovenian union through my case. You understand that? I don't like no fucking Croatia. Croatia is a fucking psychiatric hospital. The border with the Croatia is a fucking, you like to fucking cross into the fucking twilight zone. Never as long as I'm alive. You understand? You don't do the stuff like this to the people. You don't, you don't go and you portray yourself as useful. In absolutely any way, because you're a fucking useless country, a useless nation, a burden, a problem, nothing more in my life. That's all you were. And you, you, you tortured, you, you, you did more torture than any country in Western Europe did, talking about the cross. In every fucking village you torture. You had me inside of your psychiatric hospitals. Hospitals and ho psychiatric hospitals and so on. It wasn't about this lunatic only. It was about your fucking Zagreb police and Zadar police and split police all over the fucking place that you did for your British royals. And for your Putin, for your fucking Vladimir Putin. You're closer to the Putin than you are to me. I don't have nothing to do with you, really. We're done, basically. That's all I'm going to do for this video. I am going to take a date and time. Oh, now the director of the Home for Elderly at least understands what exactly I'm going to be charging her with. It's basically attempt to murder collaborate in a murder, in assassination attempt, knowing prior circumstances of what I have gone through, basically, giving her best with her staff. Home for elderly staff, to Slovenian police, to Croatian police. Believe it or not, there is a scooter, electric scooter, that goes five miles an hour that uh, does this shit. The guy's walking it's faster than, than this. I mean, he's walking faster than this. This here is what we have now. There you go.
10, 10 miles an hour. No, it's not 10 miles an hour. Five miles an hour. The guy was walking faster than that.